Hey everyone, welcome back to String Cheese and Applesauce where today we're going to build the Lego Friends Summer Caravan. This is set number 41034. It comes with 297 pieces and Olivia and Jonah minifigures. So let's go ahead and uh, see the back. I mean, we'll, we'll see all this whenever we build it. But uh, that's the box. Those things right there look like they're stickered on the pan. I'm sure we'll find out. All right, so let's go ahead and get this built. Here we go. All right, so here it is, the Friends Summer Caravan. Let's go ahead and unbox this, see what is inside here. Let's see how bad our instruction books are wrinkled up and how many sticker sheets are in here. There's the contents and our sticker sheet did go flying off to the side. It's on the floor. Getting it off the floor. I'm here. I'm back. There's our sticker sheet. It was on the floor. Let's see. There is some stickers with some eggs. Looks like some sort of fruit salad. Some spaghetti. And then some various other decor stickers. We have one instruction book that was folded in half inside the box. That's actually instruction book number two. And the other one was kind of rolled up in the box. You see, it was kind of like that. Unroll it. That's instruction book number one. And then you can see when I let go of it, it goes back into its rolled up shape. It's like one of those party, party blower things. That when you blow on it, it whistles and unravels. Let's see if I can reverse roll it and get it to somewhat stay. There we go. That kind of worked. So we have two instruction books. We have a bag number two and we have a bag number one. There it is in case you didn't believe me. We will start with bag number one. Kind of makes most sense to start with the first bag. Two small bags inside bag one and we also have some bags that have the minifigure pieces. All right. Let's open up the two small bags. I'll keep them piled up in their own piles based on the bag that they came in. Okay. So bag number one, we're only building one minifigure. And the minifigure that we're going to build is actually going to be Olivia. So Olivia, let's pull her little pieces out. They're in their own little bags. The torso and the legs. And we're not going to look at, at the details too closely on this set because I will do a review of it where we'll look at the minifigures and any other play features. But there's Olivia, that's our first minifigure. Put her off to the side. And we're here more or less to look at the build. Oh, and there's also this little um, animal. What is this animal? It looks like a looks like a little dog with a hair piece on it. Is it? I don't know. Somebody will tell me. Someone will put a comment in there. Tell me what this is. All right, so it looks like bag one, we're going to build the accessories, the car, and the beginning of the caravan trailer. So let's, I can't believe that because there's not that many pieces here, but maybe we do build all that stuff with, with what we see here. Let's find out. Oh, there's the, the Minecraft flower. We saw a ton of these in the Minecraft sets. There you go. A nice Minecraft flower for your friend sets. Alright, so this is the first little accessory. Just a little patch of green with a 
looks like a drink underneath an umbrella so you can relax under the shade and enjoy the, the outdoors. So that's our first accessory. The next accessory we're gonna build is the little portable stove that you can cook on. So we have this dome-shaped brick with a modified plate on there. And then these little orange, trans-orange pieces to kind of represent some fire. So that is your portable cooktop stove. I'm guessing it's gas powered. That, that little blue, this little blue dome is the gas. And then you've got fire coming out there. <laughs> Next is a little table, a little picnic table. And it's real basic. We basically have these two arched bricks with a four by four dark purple plate on top of them. And then for our seats, we have this two by two plate with some yellow tiles on top. And then underneath there, we put four white round studs. That creates a little bench. We do both of them, just the same. All the four, four studs on the bottoms. There you go. Little table, two little stools. That's it for the accessories. So now we're gonna build our little car that's gonna pull the caravan trailer around. So we start with these plates, just kind of back to back. And we put these little axle plates on there. Alternate a yellow, a white, a yellow. And two more axles. Turn that over. Oh, this is confusing. So the This whole sheet of my instruction book here printed a different color. So these blue plates actually look very much like a grape colored purple. And there is no grape colors in this set. So that kind of threw me for a little curve ball, but I kind of figured it out. Here's another one. It's blue. But in the instruction book, it looks purple. And then when I turn the page, it's like this next page here, it's printed right and it looks blue. So that is just odd that one page prints completely different than all the other pages. Either way, I got it figured out. Fenders. Now I'm starting to see why there's not many parts in this this bag because these or this little car is tiny. It is so so small. This one by three double reverse slope. It's kind of a cool little piece. Don't see many of those in, in very many Lego sets at all. Nonetheless, friend sets. There we 
Go. Little steering wheel right here on the front. And a couple more fenders. So you can really see how how tiny this car is. Look how close those tires and wheels are going to be together. So this is going to be the front bumper. Catches right there on the front. Car's not getting any bigger. It's still tiny. We'll turn it over here on the back. We have these modified plates with the studs going down. A little plate right in between both of them. We have a plate with two of these trans colored tiles and studs. One's trans orange, one's trans red. There and there. Couple plates, couple more plates. Some yellow cheese slopes on the back here the back of the seats with of course a few more plates some slopes with some black cheese slopes Front, we have this little hood ornament type piece with some more slopes. And the slopes really do give it a clean aerodynamic look. Still not getting any bigger. It's a tiny, tiny little car. There's our windshield. Now we have our four tires and wheels there you go that's our car can you believe it it's so tiny so one minifigure does fit in there looks like we will be able to fit both of them in there but that is a tiny 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 little car Pulled off well though, to fit, to be able to fit two minifigures in there, and pull a trailer. It's going to be pretty cool. Now you'll notice the steering wheel is right in the middle, so actually, you decide which minifigure is going to be driving it, because it's not clearly defined which one's the actual driver. Now the trailer piece, and this is just the beginning. Bag number two is going to continue with any pieces we need to finish off the trailer. A lot of turning it over and over again. So pay attention to the instructions because it's having you flip the flip the model upside down a couple times. Red, 
plate, red plates, and a couple trans yellow studs on top of those plates. So reverse reverse slope bricks right there and there. Fenders for the trailer. A couple more plates. side here see because it hinges up and down not quite sure what that's gonna be about we'll find out though sooner or later and then a couple of these little yellow clips a little bar attachment on the end all right more reverse slope bricks and here's our tow ball these plates will help hold everything together So that is it for bag number one and the instruction book one. You can see at the end of this instruction book, it tells you, go ahead and move to book number two. So we'll do as they say. And when we look at bag number, or instruction book two, you can see the very first page, it tells you to open up bag number two. There were six extra pieces from bag number one those. They're just small pieces, nothing too special, stuff that could potentially get lost. There's all the content. There's one more. There you go. There's everything from bag two. We have a little bag of all the accessories. So we've got plates, forks, spatulas, bowls, cupcakes, knives, serving dishes, pots and pans, all kinds of assorted fun accessories. And we have the minifigure pieces for Jonah. So let me Push all this to the side, and we'll keep Jonah's stuff here. There was a little bag inside the big bag, so just like the first bag, I'm going to pile it in its own little pile to make it easier to find all the pieces when we're building it. Alright, so let's go ahead and bust open Jonah's little pieces. Like I said, we'll do a review of the set and look at all the details and especially look at the minifigures in more depth. But there she is, all ready to go. Let's go ahead and put her in the car. Just to show you, this tiny little bitty car will fit two friends' mini dolls. Not saying they're comfortable, but hey, they're friends. They can, they can sit that close. That's what friends do. All right, now drink water. And let's finish up this caravan. All right, we're gonna put some plates kind of all the way around the sides. 
plates are going to help hold all the bricks together as well as give it a nice little accent of color modified brick with studs on the side. We'll put some trans red tiles on there. That goes back on there. So that's kind of the rear bumper with brake lights. <clears throat> A couple white bricks. four plates stacked attached there Whoa. a couple little panels in here have a headlight brick with a Black stud on the front, a trans clear one by one round brick, and another black stud on the top. This goes right in here. Looks like some sort of blender, like a juice blender of some sort. Have a tiny little corner panel. Goes right there. And then a one by one brick. All right, so this is making a tiny little sink. That's what that is. So you can see that's the faucet, this little bitty box in there, that's the, the sink. I'm still gonna call this a blender until somebody tells me otherwise. That's what it's gonna be known as. All right, so now we're gonna build, looks like a big side of the caravan that's gonna be able to be opened. <laughs> okay, so we have this modified brick with studs on the side. It's gonna have a red and a blue stud. The blue is a semi-translucent. So that usually represents a water faucet. I have a little hinge plate. See the plate that has a hinge built into it. Those are pretty cool. A bar all the way back here, connected to those clips. Modified brick with a bar on it. Put this little clip on there and a blue, trans blue stud. Let's see, there's our, there's our little shower head. We have a water knob and there's our little shower head. And then this all attaches.
All right, so we have a little, looks like a little book in here, and then a lantern to read at night. We're gonna continue to stack some bricks. We're gonna have a cool little windowsill that has some flowers on it. So it's a rolling home away from home. So right back here, put that on there. Have a little window panel here and a brick there. So you can see the cool little flowers on the, the windowsill. Another hinge plate that'll help hold that on. Now we have another lantern. This is actually light. We'll put together and clip on this bar right out there. There's our light. And we have two more plates there. <coughs> Next is a long little decorative panel that we're going to make with these sloped bricks, curved sloped bricks, and some panels. This attaches all the way back here on top of that door. Four. of these one by one plates, two stacked on top of each other. in there. All right, that looks better. That was a little confusing. Right now we have this cool little awning that goes over the window, alternating yellow and purple sloped bricks. Brick here, and a door goes right there. Now we have the other little decorative piece, similar as the other side. Couple panels, and that attaches right across the top of the door and the window. And there you go. Next is the roof piece. Couple jumper plates in the middle. Tile and a red plate. Let's slope. And this goes right across like that. C 
So, see with this bar over here, you can open up, access the inside of the caravan, and you could even take the roof off if you want. Play with it. Okay, Our two wheels go on. And with the wheels on, these little yellow things, you push them down, it allows it to stand up without tipping frontwards. Underneath, we're going to put a little tile, and it says to open up the accessory bag, so we'll do that. Here's all the accessories. We do have a couple cupcakes. frying pan, and three of these serving dishes. We've got a knife, a fork, a knife, a fork, a knife, a fork. So three place settings for our three dishes. Oop, there's one more cupcake. Three cupcakes. A little gravy carafe blender, serving dish, and a spatula. So that is all of our accessories. It shows them all going on the inside. I don't know how many I'm supposed to put in there, but it's showing them all kind of going right in here. Trying to get crowded. There you go. They kind of all fit in there. <laughs> Sloppy, but they're in there. Cupcakes I didn't put in there. I'll put them on the table. And the, the top of the cupcakes are the little ice cream swirls. So those don't even stay on there anyway. It'd be a cupcake mess. All right. Now we have two lounge chairs. And these are more or less just a plate with some tiles and a cheese slope on them. There's two lounge chairs. It does show those going in there too. How are these gonna fit in there? I don't think all these accessories are gonna fit in there and allow for the lounge chairs to go in as well. I'm just gonna put the smaller stuff in. Right. Smaller stuff is in. It shows the chairs going back here, attached onto this. So maybe I can fit one or two more things. No, not really. All right, so we couldn't fit everything in there. We'll just stack these plates on top of the chairs. Little bowl there. Okay. That is it. Shows us also to put the little benches on the top here. I don't know how you put the chairs anywhere else. Oh, and then that goes on there. Look at that. You can bring the table with you. It's pretty cool. So the benches and the table all fit up there. All right, now let's attach it to the vehicle. Got cupcakes flying everywhere. And that is the Summer Friends Summer Caravan, or I guess Friends Summer Caravan. Do we have, don't forget our umbrella and our little fire. There were quite a few more accessories left over, or uh, extra pieces left over from bag two, but nothing special, just small elements that typically get lost. Oh yeah, and don't forget this little critter. 
Somebody needs to tell me what this thing is. I know you kids out there know what it is because you watch the the Friends TV shows and everything. So let me know. I want to learn something today. All right, hey, there you go. Tell me what you think. All right, so thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure to give us a big thumbs up if you like what you saw. Make sure to subscribe. There's a link right down here. You can hit subscribe. Make sure you don't miss any other builds that we do. Make sure to comment. Tell us what you thought about this set. If there's any things you didn't like or you know loved about it, let us know. Love to hear it. Make sure to check out our other videos. And remember to check out the Ask Me Anything videos where you can ask me anything and I will answer your question. Thanks again and we'll see you next time.